In Inkscape, there are a variety of ways which you can choose and mix your own colors. We'll start by making a circle. Using the color wheel, we can pick a new shade of blue by moving the circle within the triangle. Using the RGB tab, we can also change the hue of any color by moving the slider bars. Inkscape also has swatches, which you can choose from. Simply click on View, and then choose Swatches. There are a variety of different swatches you can choose. Click on the arrow key on the Swatch dialog box, and the listing will appear. You can choose any of these colors to use as a gradient as well. We can change the hue of our gradient by using the fill and stroke options. Let's start with a circle. Click on the fill tab in the gradient option. Click on edit and a new dialog box will appear. Use slider bars to change the hue of your gradient, making the color stop at a chosen point by clicking add stop. You can add as many stops to your gradient as you wish. Once you're done, click the X to close the box. We'll add a 3D edge to our image by clicking Effects, Modify Path, and then Edge 3D. Remember, we can keep our images as two separate images or we can group them. For this one, we'll group them by clicking on Select All, Object, and then Group. Now we can move both image and effect together. Fills can be made from patterns just like solid colors or hues. Draw your object, and then click on the Fill and Stroke option box. Click on the Pattern option. You can view and use preset patterns by using the scroll bar. We'll use a stripe pattern for our circle. Remember, you can change the size and shape of your image once your pattern is complete by using the Node tool. You can also decrease or increase the blur and opacity. If you'd like to separate the pattern from your shape and use the pattern as part of another image, click Object pattern to object and your pattern becomes its own object. You can also make the object a pattern by using the same function by choosing object to pattern. You can also add a pattern to a text. We'll type in size tech tips, change the font to Denmark, decrease the line spacing to 80%, click apply and close. Using the selection tool, we'll increase the size on the canvas. On your fill and stroke options, we'll choose a cloth pattern. We'll add a stroke paint and style of 2.0. We'll add a drop shadow to our text as well. Select the text, choose edit,
copy and then paste. Now select the original image and add a slight blur. Choose the other image and place it on top of your blurred image to give the offset of your choosing. Don't forget to group your image by choosing the rubber band tool, clicking Object and Group.